Hello there. How are you all doing? Good evening, everyone. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 17th class of the Biblical Finance Intensive. How is each and every one of you doing on this day? Are you all fine? It's really nice to see such a big group here with me now. Thank you for being present. I would like to know the location of each and every one of you. So kindly type it in the chat and let me know where you are from. Your response is greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance for sharing your whereabouts with me. Tell me where you live, where are you from? How cool that there are people from many countries, a whole bunch of countries. So press the play button and commence to enjoy this delightful lesson that I have brought to you on this beautiful day we have today. Shall we proceed? Yes, listen, the subject of today's lesson is discover how to achieve financial freedom. Yes, our class 17, how to have and achieve financial independence. Let's go. And just to remind you, well, today is the start of the second stage of our intensive, which is the Christian Week I Control My Finances program. Make sure to participate. And I truly hope you had the opportunity to witness the beginning of this crucial program that already has a community with thousands of members actively involved. On FB Affirmative, but in case you haven't seen it yet, make sure to bookmark this suggestion and don't miss out on it later, all right? Today, our Christian week has started. I'm in control of my finances, right? The Masterclass One has already been launched. So, and now, today I would like to demonstrate to you that once you have your finances in order and you begin generating surplus funds for investment, you have the potential to attain financial independence. And look, many individuals inquire of me such as this, what exactly is financial independence? Here in the crash course, in this intense and free course, you've already learned how to think about investing. Yes or yes, where are the super committed ones? The super committed, write it to me in the chat, hashtag super committed, super committed, right? We're already in the 17th class of this course. And if you haven't seen the previous classes, which have laid the groundwork for what we're going to talk about today, we uploaded all the classes from this week on our YouTube channel yesterday. Over there, right there, sorry, you'll be able to see a special list of everything in the intensive. Look, but the most important thing is for you to watch Masterclass, one of the Christian week, I Control My Finances, which started today. And in case you are unaware of how to access the YouTube channel, there is a special link provided below this video for your convenience and easy access. Look, you simply need to go on YouTube and search for the channel. And who is in the WhatsApp group? Being in the WhatsApp group is vital as it's where people also get the links to the classes. Make sure you're a member of the group to stay updated. Well, I know that a lot of people have been coming to the event throughout the week. And it's important for you to be in the WhatsApp group for the Biblical Finance Intensive. Today, we're in a special class. Entering the second stage of this intensive, I'm bringing you a complete content about finances so you can start having a real financial awakening, which is a mindset change. These classes are merely a prelude for what is to come in the Christian week I control my finances, which commenced earlier today. Don't miss it for anything. Those who have already watched, those who have already seen Masterclass 1, please share your experience in the chat, yo. Take a glance at all of these individuals. Ensure you don't miss out on Masterclass 1 for anything in the world under any circumstances. However, if you have not subscribed to our Biblical Finance Intensive yet, particularly during Christian Week, it is free to do so. You just have to click on the link down below this video. So if I were you, I wouldn't miss any class because it's a continuation of the previous material. We are currently in the 17th class and each class has a unique phrase associated with it. Additionally, there is a specific keyword that you need to provide in order to obtain your free participation certificate for this class. So take advantage of this opportunity and grab each free piece as if it were a puzzle to put together this puzzle in your financial life, okay? Because I know you want to have your finances under control. I know you want to have financial peace. I am aware that you desire to earn extra income and begin investing in order to fulfill the dreams that God has for your life. Do you want it? Do you agree? Yummy! 
That's the end. I have demonstrated to you in the classes different testimonials from my mentees who have accepted this opportunity that you currently have and are experiencing right now. And they have already experienced a significant transformation. And today, I would like to show you a brief one minute excerpt from a class I had with my student Marines. Let's see it for the building of your financial life. That's the coolest part, it's fruit. Not money that fell from the sky, but rather it's the result of my investment in myself and in my finances. Look, observe how delicious. Marines is 30 years old and used to have a negative balance in her accounts, but she was able to achieve a positive balance and even became an investor. All of this took place in a span of less than 60 days. It may seem impossible, but it is not, right? This is what actually happened. Look, it is when you have access to knowledge and you adhere to God's principles in finances that you can experience the outcomes that are expected in such situations. Did she herself admit it in the end? Yes or yes. So Marines is one of my mentees, but today I don't have an opening for my mentorship, right? If many people desire mentoring, they write in the chat, I want mentoring, but today I don't have any spots, okay? It is crucial for you to possess knowledge of this because the transformation of Marines was truly remarkable, isn't it? Without a doubt. Yeah? What do I want to know about you? Let's proceed in our class with enthusiasm, with zeal. Let's proceed. How is your financial situation today? How? Do you have the perspective of experiencing this type of transformation that you have witnessed now and that you have witnessed here in all of the classes that you have attended? Please indicate in the chat whether your financial life is good or bad today. Write your response here in the chat box. I want to watch, you know, is it good? Is it not good? Should we go there? Let us go. I am looking here in the chat. Very, very interesting this. Very interesting that you need to make a change. Why? Who wants to change that scenario and have that kind of transformation? Ensuring your finances are under control, striving for financial independence. Therefore, you must fully commit to your learning, staying present in this class and not missing any of the scheduled classes. And now you're going to do an exercise here with me. Let's go. But before, about this, don't you know that today, the Christian week I control my finances has already started, which consists of four recorded masterclasses and three live reinforcement classes, okay? So picture this right here, let's go, the content of our class today. If you had enough income to pay all your bills without having to work, have you ever thought about what your life would be like? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever envisioned yourself having enough income to maintain the standard of living you currently enjoy for the duration of your life without being dependent on your job or the need to work for that purpose? Have you ever imagined this? In this scenario, take a look. What would you be doing on this day? Do you think this is possible for you? Yes or no? Yes or no? Write in the chat. It's a really important classroom for your mindset change for your financial mindset, right? Look, numerous individuals do not believe it or contemplate this. That is the reason why I consistently emphasize that financial transformation always starts initially in the mindset. Perhaps you have already witnessed the prior classes and that is why you have already initiated your metanoia. That is the reason why you want it now, because it is possible for you. Have you already checked out numerous testimonials from different individuals here? But today, I want to emphasize this in your life. And if you, in fact, are looking to transform your financial life, you need to renew your mind and believe that it's possible. Shall we go together? And that is exactly the concept that defines the idea of attaining financial independence of finance and your mentor today in this class, I have extensively studied various financial approaches that exist. And we observe numerous diverse concepts regarding financial independence, but what we comprehend as the most suitable with a mindset of a prosperous Christian in accordance with the Bible, it has everything to do with what I'm about to tell you now. Pay attention to this. 
You're only financially independent when you manage to have enough income to pay your basic bills without the need for a job or employment. And if you spend on basic monthly expenses, for instance, it is $1,000, then you will become financially independent when you have a passive income of these same $1,000. Isn't that right? So that you understand how this is possible, you see? Now, I want to give you a really important lesson. I want to highlight some important concepts here. All right, let's proceed. Take a look at the different types of income. There are numerous sources of income to consider. The primary ones are one, main source of income. It is the income derived from your employment. If you have a job or if you work as a freelancer or if you are employed as staff, is that correct? Independent or salaried, for instance, earning a total of $1,000 per month. So you have a primary source of income amounting to $1,000 per month where you trade your time for monetary compensation. However, if for any reason you are terminated from this position, you will immediately cease to receive this source of income. The main income is usually the type of income where you exchange your time for a salary. Right? Is everyone here? Yes? Do you get it? Do you understand? But now I suggest, commence contemplating right here with me. Until what time will you have the capacity to work? Until what time? What is your current age today? Up until what time? What will occur if you lose your employment today? Do you possess the freedom to dedicate yourself to the work of God or to the things you would like to do without depending on monetary resources for it? Yes or no? What will take place when you reach adulthood? Are you going to rely on the government for support? I can assure you that this is not a good option to consider. That is why this is the type of income that individuals with low income are searching for. The wealthy, you know, seek different forms of income, so they are not solely reliant on their time to generate these earnings. The wealthy individuals aspire to possess money trees. If you have not witnessed the preceding sessions, you must be contemplating that money does not grow on trees, correct? Yeah, right? Oh, but yes, that is how it is. Money is like a seed. It grows and brings abundance. What type of plant generates multiple fruits? I have previously addressed this topic in a prior class session. And the rich understand it and seek it out. And I talk a lot more about this in the Christian Week classes that started today, which are very special, so don't miss out. Point two regarding income. Furthermore, there are passive incomes. It is the kind of income that originates from your money trees, that is from your assets and investments. That's right. The money tree is an asset that generates income without the need for a full-time job or dedicated work. In other words, the money tree produces passive income for you. Are you guys present here? Yeah? Look, at this moment, I'm going to provide you with some examples of passive income. One, for instance, is the income generated from renting out a property that you own, you know? Two, dividends received from stocks, for example. Three, automatic entry also generated by a website. Four, let's split from a business we have. Keep in mind, that the goal of being financially independent should be to earn passive income that covers your expenses. If you spend $1,000 per month and have a passive income of $1,500, for example, this means that you no longer depend on your job or earned income to pay your bills. How can I then become financially independent? You got to start increasing your passive income little by little. It is a mindset characterized by wealth and Christian values. Therefore, it represents the mindset of a truly prosperous Christian, someone who is committed to managing their finances responsibly and in accordance with their faith. To invest in making God's dreams come true in your life. And that will only happen if you plant financial seeds today with that purpose that generate passive income for you. 
Keep in mind that desiring to harvest without planting is considered ungodly. Is that correct? Do you recall? However, how is it feasible to obtain passive earnings? The response is establish your asset foundation. Establish your asset portfolio. I reiterate because it is crucial. Yes, it is crucial for you to contemplate on this matter. Another extremely important phrase, construct investments that generate income without requiring your work. The seeds that God puts in your hands are for multiplication. In other words, for you to invest them in your money trees, in your assets, and you must start looking at this today. So we have already witnessed that money grows on trees, indeed, through the seeds that God has bestowed upon you to plant. And now we are going to recollect some highly significant points for your learning. What is an asset? Those are your money trees, everything that puts money in your pocket and must be multiplied. And what is a liability? A liability is anything that takes money out of your pocket. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So look, is a house an asset or a liability? It depends on the specific circumstances. According to the accounting rules, possessing a house would be regarded as an asset. But when considering personal finance concepts, the optimal response is, how did I inform you? It depends. If you are not generating income with this house, Undoubtedly, it is a liability that you should carefully consider because it removes money from your pocket for the purpose of covering maintenance expenses and taxes. But if this house is rented, even if it's just a part of it generating income, it's definitely an asset because it puts money in your pocket every month. Imagine that you rent a house for $1,000 a month. What will happen to your wallet in a year? You will have $12,000, correct? Therefore, you can take this $12,000 that is generated in a year and, for instance, rent a piece of land and establish a parking lot in front of a hospital. Just an example for you. This parking lot will start generating $3,000 in monthly rent for you. And now, what will happen to your wallet in a year? You'll have the $12,000 from the house rent and more. $36,000 from the profits generated by the parking lot, right? In this way, you will have almost $50,000 in passive income from your assets. Look super! This all started with just a seed and it all began with the seeds used to buy the house. And why did you take the seeds produced from the earnings of the residents to increase their quantity instead of consuming them completely? Are you aware of the importance of changing your mindset? You are currently in the process of multiplying from a seed, and this requires a shift in perspective and approach. Everything was multiplied in accordance with the multiplication law. Look, the gentleman used this example to demonstrate how he acquired a house, preserved it, generated income, and eventually purchased a parking lot, thus acquiring another asset. Do you take into account that it was only possible to buy the parking using the seeds generated by the house? So, what is financial independence actually? Do you desire to possess financial independence? Start declaring this today. I really want, I really want. I'm in the intensive biblical finance program. Today marks the start of the Christian week. Who has already attended the Christian week masterclass one? Have you already witnessed it? Have you seen it before? Yes or no? Ah, how marvelous. Therefore, I must ask you once again, what is the true meaning and significance of financial independence? I am going to provide an answer to you simply when your passive income is capable of covering your basic expenses. Look, when you achieve financial independence, by being in that state, you no longer have to rely on a job for your financial security and stability? And have you given any consideration to the monetary investment necessary for achieving your financial independence? Is it the power of clarity? I'll tell you a simple story here with you. If your expenses are $5,000 per month, multiplied by 12 would give you $60,000 per year. 
It's important for you to have a clear understanding of how much your financial independence costs. You got to start looking at this today. And if you manage to get an investment with profitability, for example, around 3% per year, for example, in this case, you will need $2 million to generate a good monthly passive income of $60,000 per year, which is $5,000 per month. But look how interesting. If you invest in financial education, learn how to manage money effectively, broaden your mindset, and acquire the skills to be a good investor, it is not overly challenging to achieve a higher return, specifically a 12% annual return on investment. In this case, do you know how much you would need to be financially independent and achieve those same $5,000 per month with passive income? The requirement that was previously $2 million, for example, has now been reduced to just $500,000, representing a significant decrease in the need. Because at this moment, you possess the knowledge of how to make money multiply, resulting in an exponential increase in your financial resources. Are you aware of the power of financial education? Therefore, I would like to inform you that the key to achieving financial independence is completely connected to your capacity to obtain favorable returns on your investments. We have already talked about it here in our finance intensive, highlighting that you cannot achieve good returns without receiving suggestions on which investment option is better in terms of profitability and risk. Or state that fixed income is safer than variable income as well. We have already discussed this matter. In order to acquire favorable investments, Initially, you must have your finances under control. Initially, you must be a good steward of your money and manage it wisely. There are a lot of people who want to start investing with their finances in disarray. Take a look completely free from debt and generating extra income. You absolutely need to start off in this way. Many of my students, my mentees, when they start the program, they speak like this. Where is the class for investments? I desire to proceed directly to her. However, I express that prior to making any investment, you must address the need to repair the house. Even if you don't have debt, you have to be a good steward. Looking at your expenses and understanding how to optimize that is what the Bible teaches us to be successful. You have to be faithful in the small things to be placed in the large things. And that is in the Bible, you understand? And if you have debts, then it's also possible for you. It's possible to come up with a plan to free yourself from them and become an investor. This is after you get yourself organized, create a strategy to increase income. And with the money you have left over, you use a portion to multiply it. So dedicate yourself to being a good steward and managing well what you already have today. Be faithful in a cent and you will see the difference of what is going to happen in your life. Important, I'm not telling you to invest everything you earn. No, it's not about that. The Bible directs us to allocate each portion of our income to a specific purpose. You know we have to set aside a portion of our money to spend on things we enjoy, correct? Yes, my mentees truly appreciate and find great value in this particular section. Yes, indeed they do. And that is indeed very biblical. Yes, a part of it is also intended to be enjoyed and appreciated. The Bible tells us in Psalm 128 verse 2. Team put in the chat Psalm 128 verse 2. You'll eat the fruit of your labor. You'll be happy and prosperous. There's another very important verse, Isaiah 65 verses 21 and 23. So two fundamental concepts to acquire today. They will construct dwellings and reside in them. They will cultivate vineyards and consume their produce. So two fundamental concepts to acquire today. Yeah, when it comes to your learning, make it a priority to learn more about investments, but only after you have your finances under control. Important learning today, right? Where are the super dedicated individuals, super dedicated individuals? Are you guys here? Look, now during Christian week, which just started today, you'll learn that each part of our money has a different role. A part to be enjoyed, yes, it's biblical to enjoy as well. Another one to invest in, another one to donate to, and so on and so forth. 
And is it possible for you? Do you have to start believing today that it's possible for you? And how are you going to figure out where your money is going? It's a question that many people have. I'm also going to show you this during Christian week. I control my finances. In one of the master classes, there will be four master classes. The master class one has already started today. Yes, today the second stage of our intensive has begun. The Christian week classes will not be broadcasted on social media, no. Free event for registered participants. If you're in a WhatsApp group, it means you're already signed up. Signed up, affirmative. Stay there to join, receive master classes, and get your free certificate at the end of the intensive. Is that okay with you? Look, here you will learn in practice how to do it based on the Bible, the sacred text of Christianity. During our Christian week, I keep a tight rein on my finances. Don't forget that she has already started today. It's about four recorded master classes with practical content, with supporting material, and also three reinforcement classes where I give you a lot of gold in these classes. There's content that I only talk about with my mentees, yeah? And also do your workout in the Facebook community. We have a study session. Even the reinforcement class is also on Saturday afternoon and it's live too. Is that really true? Are you serious? So please pay close attention to this. Look, let's do it. Look here, and when exactly? We are going to come back to this location for, I have, I wanna continue my time here. We are currently in our class 17. I am discussing how to achieve financial independence. When you are faithful to this process, initially to have your finances under control and you consistently follow it, you will begin to acquire assets that generate income for you and ultimately lead you to attain financial independence. Do you understand? However, it is important to remember that financial independence for a Christian does not mean independence from God. Check your Bible now in Isaiah 41, 13. Because I, Jehovah your God, take you by your right hand and say to you, do not be afraid, for I will help you. Always remember that he is your ultimate source, God is your ultimate source, and that everything he entrusts into your hands is ultimately his. It is all from God's abundant provision. Have you ever imagined having leisure time to fulfill your calling, to fulfill your life's mission and purpose? That's what you should search for. Do you desire more biblical motivations for your financial independence apart from that? If so, what are they? What truly motivates you to obey God in the financial domain? It is precisely because of that biblical motivation that you must delve deeper into the knowledge in the field of finance and gain a greater understanding of its principles and practices. You are unable to obey him if you do not know what to do to manage your resources diligently with a well thought out strategy in place. Make sure to check out your Bible now too. Take a look at what the word says in Proverbs 21. It's like that. The intelligent person has sufficient resources to live in prosperity and abundance. However, the fool is not obligated to spend all of the money that he earns in its entirety. Have you not utilized the seeds that God placed in your hands to invest, multiply, and generate passive income? Has it been wise or foolish? Think about it. It's not me who's saying this. It's foolish to spend all that you earn. It is in the Bible. It is in the word of God. So if you changed your mindset with everything I told you today, yes. And if you have Instagram, make a story with today's class phrase, yes. And tag, I'm going to give you the class phrase in a little while. Because I am confident you will share remarkable knowledge with the individuals you are acquainted with. And examine your Bible once more. I possess an additional verse to share with you in our class for today. Look now in Psalms 121 verses 1 and 2. It goes like this. I lift my eyes to the mountains. From where will my assistance come? My assistance shall come from the Lord who is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Look at your Bible also in Proverbs 10.22, which says like this, The Lord's blessing is that it enriches and he does not add sorrows. 
Listen, irrespective of the extent of your financial independence, it does not imply that you are completely independent from God. Absolutely not at all. Look more at your word, your Bible too, Saturday 127, 1. If the Lord doesn't build the house, those who build it work in vain. If the gentleman doesn't protect the city, the sentinel watches in vain. And as I've already told you here today, the Christian Week I Control My Finances has started, which is the biggest online event about finances in light of the Bible. Who has already seen it? Please write it to me in the chat, my friend. Have you already had the chance to watch it? Yes, the Masterclass one? Yes, yes, yum. Look, the Christian Week I Control My Finances Masterclass one has already been released and is available now for you to enjoy. Don't miss it, dude. Just be in one of the WhatsApp groups. Here in our classes, I'm changing your mindset. But in Christian Week, we're going to get down to business. And now I'm going to reveal to you the phrase of today's class, right? Where are the super committed ones? Super committed ones? Yeah? Ah, uh, the word class. Key first. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you about the keyword. Yeah, yeah. So the keyword for the class is independence. Team, please enter the keyword in the chat to receive your participation certificate for free. The keyword is independence. And the class phrase is financial independence is not independence from God. Pay attention to this. It's really important for a Christian to look into this. I want to have financial independence, but I know that financial independence is not independence from God and it's no big deal. All righty then. Pay attention to the WhatsApp group, okay? Because over there, we're going to send the links for Christian Week. I got my finances under control. Who thought today? Yeah? Also join the Christian Week Facebook community and post your exercise from Masterclass 1. We will also have reinforcement classes. The reinforcement class 1 will take place next Saturday afternoon in a live format. Pay attention to this at a different schedule. So our class 17 the content of our class 17 is very important for you to understand about today's topic, that financial independence is not independence from God. And it's possible, yes, for you to achieve financial independence by doing your part, by investing in financial education. So let's go ahead. Look at her. Masterclass, one of the Christian week I control my finances that started today. May God bless you and see you soon. See you at the Christian week I control my finances. Goodbye. Because after the rich Christian, I start to see life in a different way. My financial problems were fading away. A mortgage on my house, which I would take another eight years to pay off. I tell you that today I own a paid off house. There are several other debts that were troubling me and having the ability to do something that had not occurred in years in my life. Having extra money, having extra money of mine, my money never used to be extra. So managing to have some extra to invest as advised by the rich Christian in the portfolio we are following, following the completion of the course, I successfully managed to have some money left over from my salary, which was an achievement I hadn't been able to accomplish for a number of years. I managed to pay off the debts, a debt of 23,958, if I'm not mistaken at the time. In a span of 60 days, I managed to completely pay off this debt. This to me was an invaluable accomplishment that I can't put a price on. In addition to that debt, later on I also paid off another debt. So for me, this was crucial. So at this point in time, now that I have a certain amount of money left over from my salary, I started making an investment as well. I began investing some money and I did not have a car. I used to walk. I have a car now. It is not a fancy one, but I have a car in my garage now. This, in my opinion, is absolutely priceless. Wow, what an overwhelming feeling. I am filled with immense happiness and gratitude. I state that the wealthy Christian was positioned in my existence at a critical juncture. It was of utmost importance. So, the rich Christian was truly remarkable. It compelled me to completely empty myself and wholeheartedly believe that those incredible people were there to provide unwavering support, invaluable mentorship, and invaluable guidance on how to truly eliminate debts, achieve a well-balanced financial life, make wise investments, 
generate additional income, unearth hidden talents, and gain clarity on my desired path in life. I've already organized myself. I no longer have to borrow from loan sharks. I no longer have the private shops and businesses I had before because it was getting difficult. Everything is under control. My financial life is completely under control. I don't have that worry. One of the things I constantly had was power cuts. I couldn't handle it. Today I don't have, sometimes I see a cutting car passing by and I breathe like this, then I don't have. I'm calm, everything is up to date. The year 2020 was the first year that ended, that I ended with 1,500 reis. I can say, thanks to the rich Christian, I'm at peace. I can have a much calmer financial life. Financially, I'm not a slave to finances. The debts already existed, car financing, still paying for it. So there were quite a few things there, open debts, paying for land in installments, right? So that bar where we stayed, wow. And now what are we going to do, right? And that's when I started studying. I started the course slowly and began to see the transformations, many transformations. Reduction in bills, surprisingly, I learned to do extra activities that we didn't even pay attention to before because we were in our comfort zone. So I acquired new skills and knowledge. I established an online store through the course where they educate us on the importance of continuous self-improvement, undergoing a shift in mindset, thoughts and attitudes, and constantly striving to better ourselves. And that helped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So with each step I took within the course, I saw the changes. And in the end, it was success, total success, both material and spiritual. It was wonderful. I had some loans which were insured. And there we learned how to reduce these loans, how to pay, how to pay off these loans. And we kept practicing this, exercising control. For us, it wasn't enough to do things halfway. It only served us to do it right, to do it completely. Today, I am able to sleep in peace. The complete transformation in our lives has been absolutely incredible and utterly profound. I initiated the story by discussing the debts I had, and presently, we are actively engaged in the process of making investments. My dear friend and partner in this venture, we are investors. At this moment, we were able to contribute and provide assistance to individuals in need, which is also a very impressive principle that makes a difference in people's lives. Today, I feel at peace. Today, I sleep peacefully. We still face our life's challenges. It doesn't stop. But today, I can plan, organize myself to achieve, reaching new things every day.